Once you finish signing up, you'll be able to come here into the Jackrabbit dashboard, which I'll show you how to use while we wait for our domain to propagate and become live. And this is my wife's dashboard. Since I'll be building her website in this course, I'm going to use her account. In the top menu bar, you can find services. You can use this to view and order services or to upgrade your account. Under domains, you can view and edit and renew existing domains, or you can order a new domain. Under billing, you can view your invoice history, or you can pay your invoices. Support, this is obviously for support in case you need any help. Here you can quickly open up a support ticket. And here under affiliates, you can activate your affiliate account. If you show someone Jackrabbit, you'll make a 50% recurring commission on hosting sales. So let's go into the affiliate dashboard quickly and I'll show you how this works. Once you activate your affiliate account, you're gonna see an overview of your affiliate stats. At the bottom, there are a bunch of banners that you can use that have your affiliate link. If you'd like to show somebody Jackrabbit, this is your unique link that you can hand out. Like I said before, if somebody buys using your link, you're gonna make a 50% recurring commission every time they make a payment. So let's go back to the home dashboard. And here are the quick shortcuts. You're probably gonna use these the most. This is the file manager. All of your website files are gonna be stored here. You can imagine this as a hard drive. The files are stored just like on your computer. So basically all this is is just files and folders inside of folders. We're gonna go inside the file manager in a later tutorial. This is for add-on domains. If you purchase a new domain or want to transfer a domain to Jackrabbit, you can add that domain here and point that domain to one of your folders in your file manager. Here, you can set up a new email account. If you need to set up one of your emails with an email client, you can use the SMTP information from the email account you set up here. The easiest way to create a new email is to create a forwarder. For example, I can create an email here called info at the Bohemian Boutique and forward the email sent to this new address to my personal Gmail account. When someone sends an email to info at the Bohemian Boutique, I'm gonna receive that mail in my Gmail account. And I'll show you how to do this in the next video. Here's the link to your full cPanel. So let's click on that and I'll show you inside your cPanel. This is your cPanel, which has all of the links from your quick shortcuts plus everything else. This is the same file manager from the quick shortcuts. Here is your automatic backups. You can restore your site to an earlier day in case you have problems with it. Here you have all of your email settings that we went over a minute ago. Here is the free SSL certificate, and I'm gonna show you how to set this up later. Here is the software to help you improve the performance of your site. These are several applications that you can install, including WordPress. Later, you might wanna create more websites, and you can do that without spending more on hosting. I'll show you how to set up WordPress using cPanel in a later video. Going back to the Jackrabbit dashboard, here is your profile information. If you need to update your information later, you can do that here. So that's just a very, very brief overview of your Jackrabbit dashboard. In the next video, I'm gonna show you how to create an email address with your new domain name.